Hey you guys, it's Jen at Jen's Haunts, and it was time to do a how-to video for Crackle Jack. He's all settled done, down, he's been done about a week, and um, I'm just gonna show you from start to finish how I made him, and thank you for your great response on um, YouTube and on Facebook. I really appreciated it. So um, let's go through and I will show you how I made Crackle Jack. So I always start with um, floral wire and stem wire. It's really nice and thick. And um, I create my foundation in the middle of the trash bag. And I cut out a piece of cardboard and put that on the bottom. And then I use that as um, my foundation and my stem. Then I fill the whole thing with paper. And then I use regular twine or the blue painter's tape, usually like a thinner one, um, to make the um, you know, all of this kind of, all the ind indentations in here. And this floral wire, once you get your bag all full in your paper, you can actually, um, push the bag and all that down and then wrap tape around it. And it'll create like the dent of the, I always end up going for that Cinderella look. So I get that. Um, so it's always seemed to work for me. So I, uh, I keep going back and then when it's all said and done, you can use the wire, the twine and the trash bag that's left to make your vine and then your vine does what you want it to do straight away because you've got that wire in there. Okay, you guys, so here was my original concept video and I was starting with the paper mache pumpkins. Those are layered about four or five times and See my stem coming out there? Um, I'll show you this in a minute, but I cut it all up, and what was remaining, I made the stem out of that. So let's go on to my next picture. Okay, so here is the beginning of my paper clay, and first, I, of course, I used the Sharpie and um, started applying the paper clay around the picture. So here's a look at the leftover paper clay. I wanted it to be really pliable and smooth. So I did go with Unhinged Productions recipe. I did change it a little bit um, just to try to make it smoother. I used one roll of Costco toilet paper, boiled it for like 10 minutes in hot water, and then I used a cup and a half of joint compound, a cup and a half of glue, one cup of flour, and four to five teaspoons of salt. Um, mix that all together really well with a mixer. And uh, there's your end result. Um, I didn't put it in the refrigerator. It's exactly the same, and this is probably three weeks old. Okay, you guys, so here I've got all of the clay on, and um, my texture's pretty good. I'm using um, a brush and watered down Elmer's glue. And anytime I wanted a line or whatever, I, I use these skewers all the time. And I also was using a um, tool that came with my gallery glass. And that had a nice shape to it. So I used that a lot. So this was um, after it was all layered. And there's the stem sticking up. There's just a couple more pictures of that. Okay, so here I'm making the stem. So on this one, I didn't put the wire inside. So I started wrapping it with painter's tape. And of course, it's not gonna do what I want it to do because it doesn't have any wire inside. So that's okay. I started wrapping the floral, floral wire around the outside. And that was just as well. And it started to do what I wanted to do. And I'm making these out of my remaining twine and the trash bag that is sticking out the top. Here's a better look at that. So here it is out in the sun. I've layered that with the clay, but I really wasn't getting the texture that I wanted out of the clay. So I'll show you what I did next here. Okay, so I bought some air dry clay and um, I got that at Michael's it was pretty reasonable and you know they always have coupons 
So here's the clay that I used, you guys, and it was um, air dry, and then I was able to use the skewer and the gallery glass tool, and um, I really did get the exact um, shape and texture I was after. So I think you guys can see in there the great lines that I was able to get out of that clay. So here was my first layer of paint. I did black paint and then my first layer, let that dry and then I did my first layer of the crackle paint and I let that dry overnight. So this was my first layer of crackle. I did do the paint a little bit thicker and I used a wide brush and I tried to put the paint on pretty heavy. Um, it, you should practice on a piece of paper first or a piece of cardboard just so you know what to expect but if you put the paint on thicker you get wider crackle. If you put it on finer you get smaller webbing crackle. So there's another picture of that. So I was gonna have to crackle over crackle and I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to do that so I went ahead and put another layer of the crackle paint on it and I watered down orange and started applying it there. With the extra layer of crackle paint, um, it held the integrity of the crackle and if you don't do it every time, it won't separate again and you won't keep that black line. It'll, um, you'll actually start to kind of paint over it. So here's a look at that with the um, watered down orange and I'll show you the paints I used in just a minute. There's a better picture of that. So here's the orange and um, the last color I did was like a burgundy red color. Now the stem, I wanted it to look exactly like that. I didn't want to water anything down. I didn't want to tea stain anything. I was really trying to show off the lines of the clay and um, so I was really happy with my end result. And here he is with a, a little candle in there. And that's it. So let me show you my paints. All right, you guys. So here's my paints that I'm using. And um, like I said, uh, after the initial crackle, I did water down the burgundy and the orange. And here's the crackle paint. You could get that at Michael's. When it was all said and done, I did spray it with a clear uh, spray paint, pretty thick. Um, and that solidified it, and I don't think I have to worry about it doing anything weird in the future. So this is Crackle Jack's sidekick. I just finished him. I really like him. Um, I think his eyeballs are too clean, and I will figure something out with that later, but... To show you the difference, I still think he looks good, but you see how my crackle's not as dark? It's because I tried to skip a step, thinking that maybe it didn't matter, and I didn't crackle and paint and crackle and paint. So, um, you know, those lines would just be really dark, maybe like that, and then these look kind of painted over. It's because I didn't crackle each time. So you can layer the crackle paint, but um, I did water down the paint. Just a side note about texture, um, I made this little pumpkin for my daughter and I created like veining and I used this um, stuffing for the inside of gift bags. I crinkled it all up and then I applied it with um, some watered down El Elmer's glue and um, I thought it had a great effect and it turned out um, really cool after I just dry brushed it with that color. And I also did um, this one up here like that. I don't think you can really tell how cool the texture is just because my paint technique was different. But that might be something that um, you might wanna try in the future too. I thought it turned out cool. So just an, a side note about the stand, um, his mouth did try to close on me before it was fully painted and the clear spray paint really set him. You know, he's hard, he's cool now, um, but his mouth did try to close on me. I think I shared that with you guys in a video. So um, going forward, I'm not gonna take the stuffing out until the very end. And um, I did that with this guy and his mouth is different so I don't think he would necessarily try to fold up on me anyways. But um, there they are.
the pair, Crackle Jack and, uh, I don't know, Crackle Junior, Junior Jack, I don't know, maybe I'll work on naming him. So that's it for now, you guys. I hope you have a great rest of your week, and I'll be doing the tombstone next, and then last, the graveyard statuary. So, um, oh, and I, I, I will show you a video on this guy and the project I did in my bathroom. That video will be coming out soon. So that's it for now, you guys, and I hope you have a great rest of your week.